Hey guys, I'm Caleb with Threefold, and today we're gonna to be going over a really quick and simple tip on how to create multiple different resolution timelines within a project in Resolve 16. Let's get right into it. Quick tips. So first thing you'll wanna do before you create a timeline is make sure your timeline format is set how you want it. So you'll go down and click on the gear cog in the bottom right corner. Here you'll find a load of settings, but we are just gonna be focusing on the timeline format. For this example, I'll be setting mine to 3840 by 2160. All right, now you can hit that save and we can create our first timeline. The easiest and fastest way to create a timeline is simply to drag a clip from the media pool directly into the timeline window. As you can see, it auto generates a timeline based on your timeline format that we just set, not the clip. So for this clip, I'll need to do some rescaling. And there we go. I'm gonna name this timeline 3840 by 2160 so we can quickly see which timeline is which. Now, if you wanna create another timeline but with a different resolution than your default settings, what you'll do is right click in the media bin, go to timelines, then click create new timeline. That will bring up a dialog box. Then we'll want to click use custom settings. Once we're here, we'll go into the format tab. From there, we'll select the timeline resolution dropdown menu and select custom. The sample clip I imported was shot on the Inspire 2 and has a resolution of 5280 by 2160. So we'll create a timeline based on that resolution. We'll then hit create. And as you can see, there's our new timeline. I'll name this one 5280 by 2160. Now with this timeline selected, let's go ahead and bring in our sample clip. And as you'll notice, the clip perfectly matches the timeline. Now, if you didn't get your settings right or just want to change it to a different resolution, all you have to do is right click the timeline in your media pool and then click timeline settings. One thing to note is that once you have created a timeline and chosen a frame rate, you cannot go back and change the frame rate. You'll have to go through the process of creating a whole new timeline if you want a timeline with a different frame rate. Well, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or any future suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm Caleb with Threefold and thanks for watching.